Welcome to Wild Breakaway with Tom Tversky. I'm Audra Martin in their first game back after a long eight-day break. The Minnesota Wild weren't on their best A game right out of the gates tonight against the Dallas Stars. Took a little time to get their legs underneath and they never really were able to solve Ben Bishop between the pipes. He was spectacular. Devin Dubnik also very impressive though, but the Wild come up short 3-1. to one. Yeah, I think that was the issue is that they weren't quite sharp offensively in, in, in those fine motor skills. And, and then Dallas was defending very well, and, and uh, Bishop has been really on fire. He had a shutout last game, uh, didn't give up much tonight. And so if anything where the rust was, it was on the Wilds, uh, you know, their ability to score or, or generate some really um, good scoring chances with some tic-tac-toe offensive zone entries and plays like that. But uh, by the end of the game, they were skating with them, and I thought they were checking them pretty closely. Not a lot of time and space out there tonight. Both goalies played well. Yeah, so unfortunately, the three-game win streak comes to an end tonight. One goal on 22 shots for the Wild, three on 32 for the Stars. The Wild do capitalize on a power play opportunity. They now have three power play goals in their last two games. Overall, though, a tough loss for the Minnesota Wild. The decision, though, the final game-winning goal from Tyler Sagan was a dagger midway through the third period. Yeah, <laughs> it's unfortunate. Now, I, I, I do think it was tip, but I, I would venture to guess if he asked Doobie, he would have said he would have had it, should have had it. Regardless, Dubnik did look sharp. He will likely have the night off tomorrow night as the Chicago Blackhawks come into town. Then the Wild will hit the road for one game on the road against the Buffalo Sabres and Phil Housley. Then they'll return back home to take on the Edmonton Oilers on Thursday. So the Chicago Blackhawks are coming off a huge win, a 7-3 win against the Buffalo Sabres, a win that saw Patrick Kane have a huge night, a four-point performance from him. And you know they're going to be anxious to keep the ball rolling after a win like that. Yeah, Patrick Kane gets his 900th point uh, and has been rolling. He had a five-point game before the break against the Washington Capitals. So the Blackhawks offense uh, is rolling. And uh, Brendan Saad had two goals tonight. So they will come into the X tomorrow night in St. Paul and, and try to keep that offensive uh, game rolling because they're trying to make up for a really poor start. Anything they can do to make themselves feel better is is all good. And, and those point getters want to keep getting points. So the Wild will have to keep them in check. Yep, unfortunately, the Wild now drop back down in to the first wild card spot, switching places with the Dallas Stars, who now take over in third place in the Central Division. But we've got another good Central Division showdown tomorrow night against the Chicago Blackhawks. It's not on our air, so we will see you Tuesday night against the Buffalo Sabres. Until then, for Tom Chorsky, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway.